Hey guys, uh, it's time I do the after use review on this knife. Um, I've had this one for quite a while now and I haven't been using it for a whole lot. The reason I haven't been using it for a whole lot, one, when I got it, and if you saw the video uh, and remember it, it was pretty dull out of the box and I was never able to get a get it put an edge on this that was hair shaving sharp. I mean I got it close but never hair shaving sharp and that was a really disappointment, a real disappointment to me and that is something you might want to keep in mind when you get this. It is an effective knife does work, I mean as all knives should and I'll open this up for you, it's a little slip joint Spyderco um, honeybee here. It's quite small and besides that I don't see a whole lot of practical uses for this knife in my my, uh, my personal experience. Um, at least in my state I don't have to worry about knives being over a certain length uh, except in a couple of counties. Um, I don't have to worry about them being a, a locking or non-locking, but if you need a knife that's under two inches and can't be a locking blade, you should look into this. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend getting it unless you're doing like I did, which needed free super saving shipping on something that was going to cost you a lot more uh, in shipping than the knife cost. Because the item I was ordering, they're going to charge me 14 bucks for shipping. This knife cost me 11 so this actually saved me three bucks. So that's the reason I got it. I'm I, I like spider cone eyes. I like the blades. So uh, don't like the spidey holes. Uh, so I don't you know don't take that into consideration here. I mean it's a decent knife uh, for the size. There are a lot better ones out there. Um, that is for sure. The blade steel, the three CR, is not very good. And I mean not very good at least in my experience uh it dulls pretty quickly i mean i've had to sharpen this a couple of times since i've had it because it just dulled too quick um it doesn't take an edge very well which is another problem and this is sharp this isn't how well i kept its edge this is as, as sharp as i can make it and i can make knives uh that will shave me uh get them sharp enough to shave me for the most part. All depends on the steel. But here you go, here is regular printer paper. As you can see, cuts through it, a little bit of resistance, but does cut and it does cut clean. So regular paper not a problem. Now here's going to be the test. And I don't know how well it'll cut through this stuff. Uh, hopefully it won't be as hard uh, to cut through it. I don't think it really, if I remember correctly in my uh, video, I don't think it cut through this stuff very well. Okay. Well, I got it sharp enough now to actually cut through phone book paper relatively easy. And I mean relatively. Um, I'll grab another piece here. I think I might have goofed up on that. Yep. It's not the greatest. It does still catch in a couple spots. But it does cut through it without ripping it. But I can show you right now it's not going to shave me. As you can see there's like one or two pieces of hair. There's no bold spot on my arm. So that's very disappointing. I can't get it that uh, that sharp. I'm going I'm to keep trying. And part of me is I crinkle up the paper. And I'm going to keep trying here to get a nice edge on it. But I just, I'm about ready to give up. Uh, another thing that disappointed me about it. Normal key rings. Do have a little hole here in the back to put on like a key ring. Forget about it. <laughs> these are too these are too big at least all my normal key ring size are too big to fit through the uh, the hole there it'll fit through one of the strands but it won't fit through both 
So keep that in mind. You're going to need like a little small beaded chain or something like that or a thinner key ring, which I don't have. That's the smallest one and thinnest one I had. And I have a lot of them. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you decide to get this as a novelty item, I'll give it an A. As a practical knife, definitely a D or an F. It's really close. I'll go D minus there. And on usability, I get it going with a D. The reason why? Blade steel. I, I think it's a joke they put this under the spider co line. They should have put it under the bird line. Put it on their bird line, I can understand it. Um, but spider co, no way. There's just too much going against this knife to be a practical use knife. If you had to open an occasional package or a letter, that's fine, but you cannot get a decent grip on this knife without worrying about slipping up and over this blade if you had to do some heavy duty cutting, like breaking down a bunch of cardboard or something like that. I'd be war more worried about cutting myself than anything else. Um, the spidey hole on this, the only thing nice about it, gives you a halfway decent place to grip, but I can do that without the spidey hole. So that's a joke there too. You can't, get, no way you can open this one handed. This is definitely a two hand opener. And again, it's not a locking knife, it's just a slip joint. It's in there, you know, it's in there very good, uh, fairly good. It's not just going to flop around and close on you. But it's not going to open very easy. And if you got bigger hands like I do, and I almost did it there, I almost cut myself, you have to be very careful with this knife. So, with the after use review, novelty, great knife, uh, everyday use knife, hell no. If it's your only choice on a knife that you can actually carry, it's better than carrying nothing. Because I know there are some areas where you cannot carry a knife that's over two inches, stuff like that. There are some other choices out there. Um, I can't give you any off the top of my head. Um, but most of those that are under two inches are going to be a, a fixed blade. Uh, in folding, there are a few, but there are normally uh, have some sort of locking mechanism. But if you need a knife that is under two inches... And non-locking, this is probably going to be your best choice. Uh, they make one even smaller than this. Definitely stay away with it. Uh, stay away from it. And the one they make a little bit bigger, I don't know if it falls under two inches or if it's just over two inches. I can't remember. But you might want to look at the grasshopper instead of this one because it might be a little bit easier to use. Uh, with that said, I've gone on eight minutes here. I'm going to leave you. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.